Okay, I just found this very interesting. I have no opinion about a person's sexuality. All I am interested in is that people are happy and they're fulfilled in their lives. But I do study biology very closely. And this is talking about the Y chromosome is rapidly evolving faster than the X chromosome in humans. Now this just came out a day or two ago or whatever, a month ago or whatever. It's um, 2024. So they are realizing now that the Y chromosome is evolving. Well, what does that mean to us? All right, so this is Popular Mechanics. They're pretty, I'm telling you, they know what they're talking about. And this is the 23rd chromosome base pair contains what are known as our sex chromosomes. That's what determines whether you're a male or a female, basically. Most females, this pair contains two X chromosomes, while for most males, it contains one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. All right? So you've got two X's for females, you got a Y and an X for males. Since 2010, scientists have known that the Y chromosome is rapidly evolving. Now, what does that mean, evolving? Let's think about that in a minute. It's rapidly evolving in humans, and a new study shows that the same can be said across all great apes, the closest relatives to humans. Why all of a sudden is this burst of evolution, or has it been evolving that way right along. I don't know. The y, the y is the male side, basically. Don't forget, females contain two X's. Two X's, no Y's. The males have an X and a Y. However, the Y, which is the male part of the body, that chromosome is rapidly evolving. And what evolution is it actually What's the evolution mean in practical terms? Okay, I'm going to pretty much leave it at that because i, I got to be honest with you. I've noticed, you know, it, it, the acceptance of gay people has opened up. Originally, everybody knows this. For a long, long time, it was taboo and, oh, that guy's gay or she's gay or, you know, it's a kind of a demeaning sort of thing. Well, that's gone away to, to, to most people. The older generations still see it that way pretty much in most cases or a lot of cases but I think it's got something to do with this change in the chromosome. It's not somebody's just something wrong with them or you know their, their chromosomes dictate their sexual identity and how they prefer to live their life. You can't demean somebody for that. Now, I don't know if it's right or wrong in God's eyes. I have no idea about that. All I know that as a human being, you have emotions, you have feelings, you have a certain way that you your life directs you to live. It's not like you want to run out and say, oh, I want to become gay. I don't think. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I, I think your body is telling you this is how you... you sexually identify. I, that's all I can tell you. I, I've been, but I got to be honest with you. I've been, I've been watching and seeing all, I, like I said, my cousin's gay. And I said to her, I said, you know, I'm, I'm seeing like half of the people now that seem to be gay. And she said, oh, no, 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 it's not half. I said, well, I know it's a lot. And I'm sure there's a lot that still feel, you know, they don't want us to talk about it too much. And I understand that. And um, we, I, I talked to her about all her experiences. You know, she's, she's elderly like me now. She's in her late 60s. And um, she lived a life so I could learn from her. And it, it appears it's got to be something in that Y chromosome that is, is changing so you're not like that macho. There's, that's what makes you a macho, a tough guy. Or it makes you sort of a, you know, it's just the way it works. So, it, it, it's, it's, boy, I tell you, this is a tough thing to talk about because it's, 
it, it's just life. It's just the way life goes. I suppose I'm going to leave it at that. I love you all.